Hey everyone! Look, I got my friend James, my assistant, with me again today. And today we are talking about space travel in the future and yeah. rockets. All right, James, I got a question for you. What do you think makes rockets take off and shoot into the, into the space? Probably fire. Fire? fire some kind of fuel, right? Probably. Um, I don't know. We'll have to look that up. I don't know how to say that. But, but actually, you're right. It's fire because what happens is fuel in the rockets, and when they light on fire, it actually pushes the rocket ships so hard with so much force, it goes up into our atmosphere in space. Is that amazing? So I know. Wow. So we're gonna make a little mini rocket today. This is a fun little project. All right. So in your kit, you got um, a canister. I already covered it with my rocket, and I. <laughs> I have to apologize, I have to apologize. But Sebi forgot to include the, the paper rocket in your kit. So I will post the link for you to print this out. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna print this rocket out and there's a place where it says to cut it out and I want you to color it in and then you're gonna wrap it around the little canister that's in your kit. But it's very, very important that when you wrap it around, you ready James? That we wrap it around so the the hole, the opening is on the bottom, okay? Really important, James. So I already stuck this on. After you cut it out, just wrap it around your container. Can everybody see how that is? Okay. James decided he only wanted to color one. You can always color the other one later if you want, right, James? Okay. So our goal is to see if we can get this rocket to go up into the air. So we have to have some fuel that's going to have some force that's going to push it up in the air. You yeah, ready to try I, I this experiment? This may land on top of school. It could land on top of school. How high do you think it's going to go? Go ahead and give me your prediction. Probably pretty close to the clouds. Clouds? Look, it's the clouds? What, that would be a really good experiment. Honestly, <laughs> maybe, maybe. All right. Very, very so I'm going to show you how to do this, and then we're going to step back. I'm going to be like. And we're going to see how high our rocket goes. All right. So remember, the first thing you do, you're going to color your rocket paper. I will include the link. Like I said, I forgot to put it in your kit. I will include the link for you to print it out. You cut it out and you just wrap it around the canister that you got in your kit. Make sure the opening's on the bottom. Right? We said that? Okay. So, hold that. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to put in a little tiny bit of water. Not a lot. Maybe a teaspoon. Okay, I actually measured it when I was at my house. I'm gonna move it. Alright, you got it? Well, the this next is probably thing we're why we do, didn't have paper. What's paper that? I, I think I know why we didn't didn't make it out of paper. Oh, the canister? Yeah. yeah. What do you think might happen if we, if this wasn't plastic? Probably it was paper. a leak. A leak. It would probably get all over you, right? Alright. So our fuel for this project is a fizzy tablet also known as Alka-Seltzer. This, when added to water, will build up um, a gas and it'll expand. Right? All right, hand that back to me. Maybe um, it will expand. You know what, I think we'll do it this way. Because James and I, you need to, we need to kind of step back quickly. Yeah. All right, are you ready? I will, here, I'm gonna hold this. Don't put it in yet, stand right here. Why. Here's what we're going to do, friends. When I tell James he's going to drop the tablet into the container with the water, I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to press it really hard. It, has to be, it can't just be like this. It has to be like just dump the water out. No, there's still some. There has to be completely shut. It has to be, you have to listen to the click. Did you guys hear that click? Mm -hmm. All right. You have to hear the click. Then I'm going to flip it over. I might give it a little shake. And I'm going to run away. And I'm we're going to see what happens. Remember, this is an experiment. We don't always know what's going to happen with experiments, do we? All right, are you ready? I always get nervous. I know. All right, buddy, okay. ready? Okay. Drop it in. Okay. All right, stand back. Woo! <laughs> You want to try it one more time, Kate? Yeah, yeah. All right, friends, we're going to try it one more time. Sorry, I didn't scream. Did I startle you? Oh, I think we're okay. Oh, I okay. sold myself. 
Now, when you do it the second time, you could try to use less water or more water and see if it makes a difference. Right? That's part of the experiment. James, I'm going to give you the tablet again. Let's put a little less in this time. Wait, I see the I tablet. I see it. Oh, that's the old tablet. So that that one lost its face. Okay. So I'm going to give you a new tablet. Yeah, you got to get a new one. Hold that for a sec. You gotta get a new tablet every time. If you wanna do this over and over again, you could try this with more than one tablet and see what happens. What happens if you do three tablets I at don't once? No. But Ooh. you can take this rocket home and you can uh, find out. Okay, so there's our rocket. I'm gonna give you the tablet. Wait, don't, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay, wait, hold on, I'll put this in my hand. All right, James, are you ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, oh, I can't get the lid on. Okay. Ooh. Whoa! Oh, that was a good one, friends. Oh, All right, so do this a few times. It's safe, buddy. Come on back. Good, good job. So do this a few times, and we'll see uh, how high it goes. All right, post your results uh, on our Facebook page. Oh, my page. gosh. The wind was right above it. And have fun with this project. Our second space project I will post in a little bit. We're going to be doing a really messy art project. All right, friends. See you soon.